All right. Hello again, everyone. This is one of those little extra videos we do on the weekend uh, full length. So, yeah, a friend of mine, Bulldog is awesome. I've done quite a few videos with him. Um, cool kid. Knows what he's doing most of the time. But uh, he had this Earthshaker game, and he wanted me to just uh, look at it and do a quick critique. Well, not so quick. It's going to be a full length game, like I said. So we're going to have a look and uh, just make some... make some comments here on what he could have done better, what he did well. This looks like he's gone. Started off with a couple clarities. It's cool. At this point right now though, he should be paying attention and he should have blocked that creep wave with it with a fissure cuz he had his fissure back up. That's okay. Um and right now is a good time to use your clarity too. So it looks like he's going up against a drow. Don't know. There might be. So they're either against also an invoker or a death prophet. So they should be showing up soon. And he's got a line with them. So um, I guess Earthshaker will be taking the farm, which is good. Earthshaker needs the uh, needs the farm more than a lion would. Lion really just needs levels. He's all about the disable. Um, so at this point, Lion should be harassing that Wind Ranger. Um, a little more difficult. Okay, there's the, there's the Invoker. So this isn't going to be a very easy lane for them, um, since Lion's going to be responsible for the majority of the harassment, and as you can see, they're getting really harassed. That's a good time to use your clarity. You know, you're not going to get any more last hits. Let's see if he takes any flack from creeps. Don't let that clarity get cancelled now. Ah, good boy. <laughs> last hitting seems to be pretty decent. It's hard to last hit under towers um, unless you get a lot of experience with with last hitting under towers because they hit pretty hard. Um, so now he should be spamming out that fissure a bit more. Trying to avoid the creep wave, but just spamming it on... Uh, not spamming it, but just using it defensively when they come out to harass him. Or to get like an additional uh, last hit. Like if you need to use spells to get... See, that was a good fissure. Um, did it trap him in? Yeah, it even trapped him in. So they could have capitalized on that right there. They could have gone for that drow kill. Um, but they're a bit, they're a bit playing a bit cautiously. The key to winning a lane, um, be it whether you're against an axe or not, like you really just have to be the aggressor and put the other team on the defensive because that makes them play, that makes them last hit less. That makes them second guess themselves so even in a lane like this you really have to position yourself as the person as the team who is uh, the aggressive one so if I were bold bubble <clears throat> if I were bulldog here I would have already picked up um, I would have picked up probably like a stout shield to deal with the harassment um, a stout shield and boots just to get in and out and get those last hits because right now um, the last hits are five and zero which at this point is not that great so there's a lot of a lot of missed farm opportunity if you're not comfortable with uh, grabbing last hits in this situation then you need to be telling um, the other guy the he needs to be telling the line take some last hits I'm not comfortable going in good using a last clarity so yeah 900 gold you should grab yourself something um, courier should be upgraded by now don't run into EMP good he realized he didn't need to use his fissure there good uh, good choice it's 
More missed last hits. That should have been a last hit there, too. Bulldog, you need to work on your last hitting, man. I know, I know, to his, to his credit, he doesn't play, um, like, he usually plays position four or five. He usually plays a lot of support, so I think that's, that's, he's still got that mentality. He doesn't have that mentality of, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna get these last hits. I'm gonna get farm and just wreck. Oh, so here we have an axe coming up. This should be a kill under the tower. Get your fissure off. If you had the fissure on the other side, would have been good. But if he can cut him off here. Yeah, okay. That's good. Fortunately, uh, Axe's teammates didn't want to help him. If if Invoker and Drow had dived, I think uh, they would have killed both of them. I was lucky. There, now he's getting a bit more ballsy with the last hitting. He knows he's under his tower, so he's got a bit of a safe space. That's good. But you've got lots of money now. you got to spend it. <clears throat> you got to spend it, man. you got to courier at the base. Buy stuff. Not sure what he wants to build here. Oh, so he's still building towards a blink dagger. Okay. No, that's fine. He does have a Wind Ranger and a Wrath King on his team, so that's understandable. But he should get... He should get... I don't know. I personally like getting Arcane Boots first on... On Earthshaker, if you're playing him as like a position four, which I think he is in this case. Um, yeah, this is weird though. Like Wraith King should have been, should have been top with, with Lion. They would have had an amazing lane against, uh, against Drow. Now that Invoker's not there anymore, <clears throat> have they been calling Invoker missing? Maybe in voice chat. I know Bulldog has a mic. Um. Yeah, I don't know, I would have sent like, uh, I would have sent like Wind Ranger mid, and then put like Earthshaker with, um, with, uh, Barra bottom. <clears throat> Especially Earthshaker against that Phantom Lancer. Lots of stun control. Oh well, hindsight, right? The bottom lane doesn't seem to be doing too poorly, we're up on kills. I don't mind, uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying this because I've never seen this game before and uh, doing this whole critique thing on someone else's game, it's uh, it's new, it's fresh. I like it. Get that last hit. That's okay, he got it. <clears throat> also, <clears throat> um, Enchant Totem is only 20 mana, so if you need to use Enchant Totem to uh, to get those last hits, by all means use it. Oh, Fissure, 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 Fissure. Good. Enchant Totem, stun him. Oh, almost. If he had had boots, if he had had boots, that would have been a kill. And if he had Arcane Boots, he probably could have Echo Slammed as well. So, arcane boots, very handy. And now he's got no way of regening. Um, he's got no HP regen, no mana regen, and he's probably gonna have to go back to base if he wants to really feel safe in lane. So we've got uh, these two back top. Looks like Death Prophet's TPing in. Hopefully they call that missing. It's Death, yeah, Death Prophet was mid. How's this Wraith King doing? He's doing okay. Soul Ring. Going straight for Armlet. Wraith King should have been rotating at this point. If, he, if he's got four points in his Q, he should be rotating. And here's, a, here's another thing, guys. If you need a rotation, call it out. Like, talk to your teammates. Um... Tell them, you know, we need help. We need a rotation. A gank would be easy on this Drow Ranger. Oh, boy. Fortunately, it looks like Axe doesn't have his Blink Dagger yet. It's a good fortify. I don't think they can defend this, though, unless people TP over. And Wraith King is certainly not going to TP over. Not at this rate. <clears throat> so. And, and Earthshaker's got no mana. 
You should really be going to back to base at this point. You ha you don't have any mana to do anything with. Um, you're just kind of wasting time. Yeah. And you're this close to base already. You should be going back just to just to freshen up. You know, you gotta use you gotta use maximize your resources as much as you can. Arcane boots would have been an excellent way to do that. <laughs> All right, I'll stop talking about the arcane boots. All right, so it looks like we are. He is going to rotate mid, but again, he has maybe just enough mana for one fissure. So again, if he had gone back to base, he could have actually helped out quite a bit. So don't use your fissure yet. Don't use your fissure yet. There you go. Good man. So you want to position yourself here in this situation off to the side so you can fissure trap someone. Maybe across, like diagonally, from one corner of the ramp to the corner of the enemy ramp. That's a really good spot to fissure. Even if you can fissure someone so they can't go up the ramp at all. Um... And they have to go up the river towards top rune. That's a really good spot too. Um, or even down the river. Looks like Axe got caught out. Fortunate for us. And that was completely unnecessary. <laughs> okay. And now you definitely have no mana. Please go back to base. Please, please go back to base. So he's got his blink dagger, so just go back to base. The courier's not even there, go back to base, get it. There you go. Okay. Now he's gonna build his arcane boots next. Now that he's got his blink dagger, um, he still needs to... He still needs to get money for those arcane boots. Um, he is, yeah, he does have the gank potential. Um, so they really should, he really should TP, oh, he doesn't have money. Um, they really should take a fight mid here. I think Wraith King has his ultimate ready. And it looks like he's going to get caught out. He does have his ultimate ready just to be careful of that, uh, that invoker taking all his mana. But right now would be an excellent time to take a fight with a, a blink initiation from like the uh, from the Earthshaker if they could get vision on the other side. Oh, go on that, go on that, guys, go on it, do it, just go in there, Echo Slam, boom. You gotta have, you gotta be ballsy. You just gotta go for it. It's like not a ranked. It's not a big deal, you know. You're you got four guys mid. They definitely do not have four guys mid. They have. You know their drow is not going to be mid. Their drow is going to be farming. So you don't have drow mid. You probably just have... And, and P, uh, PL is probably farming too. So you know you just have probably three mid at the most. Um, and you've got four guys mid. So like right now would be an excellent time to take a fight. Like right there. Go. Boom. Well done. That's what you got to do. That's okay. That's That's a good trade. That's a good trade. Yeah. Good initiation. Good initiation. That was that was good. Well done. <clears throat> yeah, we're playing the to get um together the other day. Um you'll actually see this a uh, game uploaded on Wednesday. Fantastic, uh, fantastic video. It's his idea to do like an opposite build challenge where we swapped builds. I was SK and he was Naga and I built Naga things and he built Sand King things. Um, <clears throat> but something that I saw and I mentioned to him a few times was if you have a blink dagger and he had a blink dagger in that game as well, like a Naga with a blink dagger, she's got a great net. The net lasts like four, five seconds. Blinking in on people and netting them is in fact, you just got to take those opportunities when someone's alone and you have people to back you up you really gotta take advantage of those opportunities to just go balls to the wall it's all about those pickoffs like the little things add up you know <clears throat> you get a pickoff you create a bit more space you you know make something twice about pushing the boundaries towards your base 
they go, oh shit, she's not afraid to uh, initiate, you know. Alright, so we got a DD. This was a great initiation. Unfortunately, no one was there to back him up. Okay, lines there. Good. Good, 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 good. That was really well done. It could have been worse had your team not been paying attention. But, uh, I mean, I can't hear what they're saying if they were using voice chat. So, for all I know, they could have been yelling and swearing at each other. But that was good. That was good. It's important that you make sure you do have backup if you're, uh, if you initiate like that. And I think he was, he was on the ball. He knew what was up. So they could totally, um, they could totally go for this axe if they see him. Yeah, good man. Hide. Now, your Wraith King really isn't going to be very good bait. Um, so you got people going to the jungle. That's great. Uh, they saw you rotating there. And the invoker's over there. So now they probably know you're in their jungle. Uh, they saw you go past the creep wave. Um, what would have been really good in this situation would have been to grab a smoke. And then go into the jungle. Fortunately, this drow has no map awareness. And her team doesn't really care about her at all. So. <laughs> oh, I love it when people just play stupidly, don't you? Almost enough gold for that. Uh, oh, if he gets this, he will have his mana boots. Right? Go up to that secret shop, grab them. And you should be able to take this fight if they're pushing this lane. Although I don't think they're going to push it because they know. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to They're not gonna push this lane. Hmm. I like this game so far. Lots of kills. Very interesting. <clears throat> this team lineup is very, um, it's pretty, pretty close because they both have fairly, fairly similar late game carry potential. Although that, um, although with the PL and the Earthshaker, the Earthshaker is an excellent counter to that PL. And this Barra apparently is just kicking ass all over the map, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think, uh, I think the Radiant have a much better late game potential. And they're even winning quite well at this rate. They had a much better draft, if you ask me. The, uh, the, the dire side, not so much team fight. They're mainly farm and push. Like, they don't really have anything to control. They have two silences, <clears throat> but they don't really have much in the way of controlling the Radiant. Whereas, you got your Wraith King Q, you got your Earthshaker and his infinite stuns, you got Shackle Shot, you got the Bear stuns, and you got the Lion stuns, so, like I always tell my friends, stuns win games. They do. They control the game, and if you can control the other team, they can't do shit. So it was a good draft. I didn't see how the draft went, but I assume people just picked well. Was this an all pick? Psh, I don't know. I just skipped past that initial stage. No one wants to see the draft of an all pick game. <laughs> All right, so now you've got four top. Man, this is a great game for a great game for a uh, nice juke. Great game for us. Uh, no, Spirit Bear, Barra. What's his name? Spirit Breaker. Great game for a Spirit Breaker because they don't really have anything to stop him. They've only got that tornado. Good Echo Slam. You used it before you ran out of mana. Good stuff. <clears throat> Take this tower, guys. Take this tower. Once you get creeps. <laughs> We've got Invoker still hanging around. It's funny how you can see. I can see the Invoker right there. That must just be a visual glitch. I see you. Is he going to go for Bulldog? What's going to happen? Oh, shit. Oh no! Good blink. Good blink. 
You gotta get out of there, man. Always carry TPs on you. This is why you carry TPs. Because now you're dead. <laughs> uh, in that situation, though, as well, um, if you're feeling trapped, just blink into the trees. They're not really going to find you. And then get the courier to bring you a teleportation scroll in due time. It's better than uh, better than giving away gold. Meanwhile, bottom's pushing in. Don't know if anyone was paying attention to that, but uh, we pushed the shit out of the bottom. As far as towers go, the dire are doing much better. So what everyone? Let's let's look at the let's look at everyone else on the team. Yeah, Yule Scepter. Okay, Wraith King has his his farm has slowed down considerably. Wonder he's gonna build a Deso next. That's pretty good. I like that veil. That veil is actually a pretty cool choice, especially considering you have an Earthshaker on your team. Um, and it saves Earthshaker having to build one later. Death Prophet, not doing so hot. Still working on her Yules. Drow Ranger going for Shadow Blade, Axe, doing Axe things. PL, going for Diffusal. Pretty standard, and oh, it looks like Invoker's going for um, Orchid. Which is good, which is good. Um, I think, yeah, no, Orchid is a good choice. Orchid's a really good choice. Alright, let's go back to our Shaker here. What's he doing? <clears throat> Alright, so, he's charging her. Uh, unless he has dust, that's not really gonna work. Yeah. Time to pick up dust, folks. So I guess he's going straight Ags next. Which is fine. I, I guess he's following a build guide. I don't know. I would even I would even appreciate more movement in uh, against a team like theirs who have quite a few closing abilities. Um, I don't know. I, I think a four staff would be good too. Four staff's not too expensive. Um, it, get, it gets you out of those sticky situations where you are being damaged already. And you can't use your blink dagger. Um, but he's going. He's going full ham. I can respect that. Even a glimmer cape would be pretty cool in this situation. As the as the earth shaker would give you some pretty good uh, juke ability. People forget about that glimmer cape a lot, actually. It, it's it's great though, like that glimmer cape, pretty handy. There we go, excellent. Uh, probably should have saved that echo slam. Now you have no mana. Oh, Wraith King wants to go, but you have no mana to help him. Nice. This is the power of the Wraith King. I mean, this this fucking Wraith King, he just... No, attack the right one! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Power of the Wraith King, though. Can't kill that shit. Guy just doesn't drop. Well, he drops and then he pops up again. At this point, it doesn't really matter if you take Wraith King's mana, because he's already used his ult. Um, ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Ah, uh, shit. Can't even see the Death Prophet. Where the hell is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, she had an Invis rune. Oh, clever, clever. <laughs> oh, moments like that. That's why I play Dota. For the blade mail. <laughs> For the blade mail. It's 
Wind Ranger doing? Wind Ranger's farming pretty well. Yeah, she went for a four staff, which is pretty good. I mean, that's it's pretty necessary for a for a Wind Ranger. Gets you out of those sticky situations. Earthshaker. Earthshaker could be capitalizing this farm up here. It isn't past the river yet, so he should probably be taking that, but uh, I, I guess I can see how he's... He's just kind of wasting time right here. And if you had a four staff, um, if you had a four staff, you could be a bit more ballsy with your farm. Because you can always four staff away, that'll give you kind of like a that three second gap, and then you can blink and get out. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about getting initiated on, because like I said, they don't have any stuns. They just have silences, and silences doesn't do anything to keep you from using your items. So, four staff, blink away. If you had a four staff, you could be more... More farm and worry-free, so to speak. How's this bear doing? Good, good. Is he going... What's he building next? Going... Is that a casual vitality? Is he going hurt? Hmm. What are you thinking, sir? So now you know the drow's in your jungle somewhere. You should get to a tower or put a sentry down. Even dust. Dust would be good. Someone should be having dust. Who has dust on the team? Does anyone have dust? Okay, good. Lion has dust. Excellent. Does SB have dust? No, SB doesn't have dust. But SB should have dust because he's the guy who charges in. So SB, get some dust. Wind Ranger. <laughs> I guess he's almost done his Aghanims. Almost done. So yeah, he's even unsure about this, which is which is wise, because you don't really have any vision in their jungle or around the Roche pit. But yeah, no. You guys, you guys got all five there. You should go up into their jungle. Try and find someone. You got dust on that line. Uh, yeah. They probably... I mean, they don't have wards there. Well, I don't know if they have wards there. Let's see if they do. No, they don't have wards there. So you don't know you're in the jungle, but uh, you can definitely take the team fight to them. You have the team fight advantages. You just gotta... You gotta stop grouping up under that EMP. That EMP just like ruins fights. It's such a t good turnaround skill. So good to counter initiate with. So you gotta watch out for that EMP. Because without mana, most of your team can't do shit. You really gotta get that uh, invoker first. And you have the dust. Honestly, like, Wraith King should be the one. No, what the EMP? You the EMP should be baited out whenever possible. Or just avoided. You know, you do, like, a, a faux initiation. You stun. They throw the EMP. You run out. Or four staff out, if you had a four staff. <laughs> That's not real, guys. There you go. Yeah, smoke gank would be really good right now. They don't have any. S yeah, smoke gank. That's all I can say at this point. Smoke gank. I mean, just to solidify your lead, you're well in the lead as far as kills go. You could take some towers, but if you can get a good smoke gank off, and you can at least force a buyback, if not, like, take an objective, right? It's all about those objectives. You make them pay for dying.
You know what I just thought of too? Uh, having that uh, that glimmer cape will be excellent against the EMP. You go in, you initiate, you do your echo slam, fissure, any combo you want. Once the EMP is cast, right before it, well it takes about three seconds to pop, right? So once the EMP is started to fizzle, you use your glimmer cape and it basically will take away no mana. I think. I think it'll negate some mana burn. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. I haven't uh, I haven't tried that one out yet. By the way, new mechanics video I think will be coming out uh, this coming Friday and it's going to be focused on um, projectiles and how to um, disjoint skills and projectiles. So that'll be that'll be a fun one. Expect Huskar to leap a very long way. Yeah, don't charge that axe. <laughs> you have no vision there. Yeah, a ward right above the Roche Pit, like, over there, uh... Over there, jungle. Or, you know, right above the Roche Pit, right there would be really good. Below there, Tier 2. Because you can catch a lot of people running through there, especially as a Spirit Breaker. So I like his, his the order he picked his skills in. It was it's pretty standard for uh, for a support or like a position for Earth Shaker. He's playing his part well. Um, he knows he doesn't need to right click. He doesn't need to be a funky freewheeling full ham Earth Shaker. Dust, dust. Damn it, Spirit Breaker, you still don't have dust. Ah, you greedy motherfucker going straight for that. That, uh, heart. Okay, we got some stuff happening here. Wraith King's down right away. He should be able to kill this Death Prophet. Oh no! Somebody cut him out. Somebody cut him out. Can they force staff him out? Wind, Wind Ranger, force staff your. Oh, he blinked in there, didn't he? There you go. There you go. Help your team. Dust! Someone dust! <laughs> okay. His dot got him. Good. Charge him, charge him, charge him! Oh, I would charge under the tier fours. That's probably not too smart. Good fight, though. Uh, no one died, surprisingly. And it was like a- it was like a four on five, so... Nice. What's this lion doing? Oh, he's... Dustin Sentries, good man. Bulldog, you should really be backing and getting some HP and mana. His axe is up and he could really fuck you over. Also, um, if you do have a blink dagger and you don't expect to be fighting anytime soon, Use that blink dagger to travel faster. Uh, you will save a lot of time getting places. No, you don't use it while you have an invis rune, but you know what I mean. Like, if you want to get to an invis rune faster or get across the map faster, just just use the blink dagger. You got it for a reason. And bear is stuck up there. You can't do anything for him. What do you? No. Good try, though. He can charge away. You don't need to waste your mana on him. He's just waiting there to charge. There you go. Okay, I can feel a fight coming. You guys can totally take this in 20 seconds. Wait for Echo Slam. Although you need mana, too. Are you going for refreshers? Makes sense. Makes sense. You're going to need a slightly larger mana pool, though, but... Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Echo Slam doesn't cost that much mana. What am I talking about?
All right, so he's got his Void Stone. That'll help with some... That'll definitely help with mana regeneration, as it's supposed to. Oh, get this farm, Earth Shaker. That farm was meant for you. Get all of that. Get it all. Blink in there. Blink in there. No, blink in there and do it. <laughs> oh, you could have had it all. You could have had it all. You got a fight going on bottom. What's happening down here? You're pretty dead. That's okay. Losing a line at this stage of the game, not a very big deal. The lane isn't pushed out too far either, so. Looks like our guys are grouping up, though. They do want to take something. Uh, Wraith King needs... Wraith King needs some HP. But he's still got his ult up. Team needs more wards up. That's for that's for sure. More wards. Earthshaker um, should at this point be trying to level as much as possible. Like take take all this farm. You can take all of this. Take. Oh yeah, help your team. I guess. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, that's blade mail. <laughs> Watch out for that blade mail. That's good though. For just a fine trade. Just a fine trade. Skip ahead a little bit. 20s up again. Alright. Getting more farm. We gotta get to that level 16. That level 16, um, that echo damage is maxed out, and uh, your plane damage is maxed out too. So, yeah, that double echo is gonna be so nice against PL illusions. I just really hope he um, he he waits, he really waits um, until the right moment so PL has like lots of illusions up because PL illusions will will double echo as well. Illusions are treated as heroes if with the Aghanim Scepter. See right there. Just just use your blink. Just use your blink to get uh, position on those creeps. And you could have had just about all those. That's okay. It's something, uh, something you'll learn as you play. Double Void Stone. I can respect that. You don't need your branch anymore. You do need mana regen. Double, full on double void stone. All the way across the sky. Use your blink dagger. Use your blink dagger, get there faster. You know no one's there, you got wards, so you don't need your blink dagger. There you go. Okay. Up the rosh pit, go into the rosh pit. Going into the rosh pit would have been faster. Well played. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Right on, right on, right on. That's a full team wipe. Now, you guys should take bottom and mid tower with that. Why you ran all the way down there, I don't know. That was a really weird way to run. <laughs> uh. Get in there, kill those creeps, Earth Shaker. There you go. Nice. You guys should be able to take mid tower too, maybe. If, if Wraith King had been pushing mid, you would have been able to, but you shouldn't take this. Uh, yeah, Invoker's up. You guys should really back. I hope they back. You should really grab that to regen. Or don't grab the regen. Just go all the way back to base. Helps to pay attention to your minimap, folks. And just to, well, I know that you don't see the regen on the minimap, but if you just click on the rune, 
you know 40 minutes is when a rune spawns, so you got a ward there, check and see what rune it is. Wraith King, ah, Boots of Travel. Interesting choice. Investment is what that is. So you are just 1500 off your refresher. That's going to be awesome to have. <clears throat> Interesting little fact. Um, your Fissure Stun does not stack with, uh, stack with Aftershock. So your, your Fissure actually overrules your aftershock you don't get both stuns uh, you don't get both stuns um i th think you and i don't think you get uh both stun damages either i think you're just the fissure the longer stun always overrides the shorter stun so yeah oh man oh do it do it boom oh yeah there's the echo slam you're probably dead. But that's okay. That's a good trade. Uh, your Wraith King still has Reincarnate, so I don't know why he's running away. Nice. Take that mid tower, guys. Take that mid tower. No, I can totally. That was, that was an awesome play, man. That was great. <laughs> The flaming begins. It's pretty much a stomp at this point. Um, it's not too much competition. They don't have... They really don't have any counters to your team. I mean, they just have... Like, Death Prophet and, and uh, Drow really need to land their silences appropriately. I don't think they are. Especially because... Um, yeah, because Earthshaker's hanging back and waiting. Just biding his time. And that's what you gotta do as someone with a blink dagger. You don't need to be on the front line because you have a blink dagger. You can just take your sweet, sweet time. Pick your moments. So that should be level 16 then. Yeah, level 17. Okay. Got your refreshers. That's awesome. Uh, let's see what you're gonna do with it. Oh, that's sad. So it's, at this point, you could be jungling. Uh, yeah, I mean, Octarine Core, I like it. Shorten those uh, alt times. Octarine Core is pretty great, especially on someone with so much like spell damage. Um, but yeah, you could be taking jungle farm at this point as an Earthshaker. You've got, he's got really good regen, HP regen, and a mana regen. Just be throwing that shit out. Oh, nice sentry. Nice sentry placement. Uh, well, not a super random sentry placement for the D ward, but it's. Oh, drow. Getting greedy. So, yeah, they could. Uh, with Wind Ranger up, drow down for 50 seconds, they could take uh, high ground mid, and they should. They should push for it. They've got the double ult from the Echo Slam, and they have Wraith King ult up. You don't, you, know, you didn't need Echo Slam for that, but no, do what you have to do to to to. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do to guarantee those kills, especially on someone like a PL. And now you definitely can go high ground. And you still have an Echo Slam available as well. Just don't get caught by the tornado. Go, Echo Slam. Boom, go. Oh, too late. Axe was right there. Axe was right there. Go, Death Prophet's right there. Go on him. Oh, the opportunities. You don't even need an Echo Slam initiate. Just jump in and... uh Fissure or jump in and just something. Even Fissure and then blink in. Just, yeah. Blink in, enchant totem. Oh, you guys could have pushed high ground. You guys could have pushed high ground. 
Go in there. Go in. Echo slam. Echo slam. Come on. Wait for that blade mail. Just get caught by the tornado. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. Where are you going? Your whole team's in there. Refresh. 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 There you go. Boom. Fissure. You fissured nobody. <laughs> it's all right. Your Wraith King will mop it all up. Your Wraith King will make everything okay. Don't go back to base. You have lifesteal. Why are you going back to base? Why are you going back to... I don't know. Okay, whatever. The rest of the team should be going high ground at this point. Um, they should be an easy, like, double racks. <laughs> Here he comes. I like the Wraith King with the, with the Blink Dagger. I do. I really do. It's okay, just finish those racks. Uh, Earthshaker DCs. Pops the BKB right before he dies. Okay. You guys should really be rotating for that other racks. Alright, they're on the run. Mid racks taken. This could have been a much shorter game. It should have been a much shorter game. I think people were just playing very conservatively. Let's skip forward until my friend Earthshaker comes back. Do 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 do. Roshan also could have been taken several times at this point, um, and he should have been. Don't know why he was not. Gee, how long were you disconnected for, man? Holy crap. Skip, 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 skip to Malu. There we go, you're back. Alright, cool. Well, let's look at, uh, that worth. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're way up there. Come on, let's skip forward a bit, let's get to some action. So aside from the obvious being DC'd, which is not great, but you can't help these things. Um, yeah, go help your team. You still have that double echo slam. Double echo slam, oh, he wasn't quite, something hit him. Something, I think he got hit by a death prophet. So you gotta, you gotta really be watching your hero, not always watching the fight when you're about to initiate. Because you never know when something will... Grab. Will disable your blink dagger. Such is Dota life. Hmm. Alright, so you still have an echo slam up. Not real. Oh, it is real. Holy shit, it's real. Well, that was a stupid PL. Don't run into the meatball. Alright. Good recovery. This death prophet has a shadow blade? Look! Spearbreaker still doesn't have dust. <laughs> oh my god. They have so many Shadow Blades on the team. Get a gem. Get dust. Get something. Just put it on the Spirit Breaker. Just put it on him. Fucking buy him. Lion, buy your guy a gem and just give it to him. Something. He could be just wrecking so much more if he had True Sight. So much more. Folks, if you're in these kind of situations where you know somebody should have an item, 
be the asshole and tell them so. You know, tell them in a nice way, but... You know, be like, yo, you need true sight. Okay, blink in there. Boom. Again, true sight would have been nice to have in this situation. Don't leave your team. What are you doing? Here you go. Come back in here. Throw a fissure down. 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 Fissure. Fissure, 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 fissure. You had fissure the whole time. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. Fissure, 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 fissure. Okay. So now Wraith King should have no issues taking this bottom racks. Good man. All right. Yeah, there you go. Pop that fortify. Oh no, just dick around more. <laughs> what was on that? Oh, they had boots. They had uh, something on the courier. Cool. All right, let's just skip forward until we have interesting things happening again. God damn, this game is lasting way too long. Could have ended so much sooner. All right, so another group. They're grouping up again. Oh, they're finally gonna do Roshan. Excellent. So yeah, Bulldog is doing the right thing, waiting outside the pit. Wise choice. They don't need you. They got enough right click. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice pickoff. Good sentries. Good sentries. Oh, who used him? <laughs> that was inconvenient. Good fissure. That was an excellent fissure. Um, except for the fact that now you're separated. But, uh, no, well done. Well done. That secures you. That should, that should be game. You secured... Uh, kill on the PL. No, don't even worry about it, man. Don't even worry about it. No. Why didn't you use... Why didn't you use the arcane boots before you bought that? Okay. Doesn't matter. Go for the throne. This should be GG. No. Push for GG, guys. Just push for G... Just push for GG. All right, I guess. There's Drow. That was a good silence by Drow, but too bad she has no teammates alive. And there we go. Game over. So all in all, good game, man. Um, good, pretty good Earthshaker play. You just gotta tighten up your your timing with regard to resources and like mana um mana and hp management um you wasted a lot of time just kind of like standing around watching when you could have like gone uh and farmed or gone and gotten mana and then come back and still would have been there in time for the fight so yeah um yeah work on your work on your mana and and farm management but good game, good initiations. I liked your blink initiations. You, you know your blink distances, and uh, uh, yeah, well played, well played. Let's see, you had you were fourteen and eight, twenty-two assists. Yeah, no, those are respectable stats. I'd say um, next time. I mean, I couldn't hear your voice chat, but if you weren't, I'd say step up, try and lead a bit more encourage your team to take objectives when 
Um, the other team has made mistakes, so make them pay. Make them pay. Thanks for watching this, guys, uh, and thanks for lending me this footage, Bulldog. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, uh, peace.